The Madison Friends of Cure, Citizens United for Research and Epilepsy, are having their annual uh, benefit this Thursday. News 3 Sarah Carlson and Charlotte Deleste are participating in the event, sharing their stories of living with and caring for people with epilepsy. And Sarah is with us tonight. Nice to see you. Good to see it's good to be here as a guest. Now, <laughs> you have been very brave sharing your story about living with epilepsy, and today is a very significant day for you. Yeah, very significant. Uh, one year ago today, and it's actually been a lot harder than I expected it to be to remember. One year ago, I had a tumor removed from my left temporal lobe. Um, they found this tumor, gosh, a year and a half ago, and we had it removed on September 20th. So it's been an interesting journey, to say the least. But you were diagnosed with epilepsy before that. Just a few years only. Okay. I, I consider myself one of the lucky ones because I was diagnosed about three years ago and uh, my symptoms were more mild. My seizures were more mild, I should say. So most of the time I had what are called partial simple seizures. A few times I had the big ones, the grand mals, um, one of which I think happened on TV. So I, I'm one of the lucky ones because I've been able to function with it. But we didn't know whether this tumor was what caused my seizures. And it appears it may have been one of the causes, but not all of them mm -hmm. um, because I've had some activity, some seizure activity since then still. Well, people stop me all the time in the grocery store, at the library, and ask me how you're doing and how you're feeling. How are you doing? That's a good question. I appreciate it. Thank you. You know, I'm doing pretty well. Um, it's a much harder journey than I expected it to be. When I heard there's a tumor in there and then they got it out, I thought, okay, all done. But medication has actually been much harder than brain surgery. I'd rather have to have brain surgery every six months than deal with adjustments to medication and side effects. It's much more intense than I think most people could ever imagine. And again, I keep saying this, I'm one of the lucky ones though. So many folks out there can't find a medication that works and then can't function, can't drive, can't work, can't take care of their kids. It's there, tough. There are so many questions with this disease. That's why you need to raise money for research. Exactly. We don't know enough and it doesn't get enough funding for research in terms of a cause. Uh, we have a lot of soldiers coming back from wars overseas who have head injuries who are developing seizures and we need that money for them as much as we do for the children whose parents struggle every day with it and folks like me who are just dealing with medication. But people see you and it must be so reassuring to folks out there who are living with this, who are battling with this, that they know they're not alone and look, and look at you. Well, you know what sweet. I mean? You're you're surviving and thriving and paying it forward. Or playing the OK Sarah on TV, <laughs> as some days I say, but I appreciate that so much. And if that's secondary and very important to me to hear, but mostly I hope to raise awareness and help raise money. So we have a big event coming up this week that we hope to do that with. One day at a time. Exactly, one day at a time. <laughs> Amen. Let's tell the folks, Sarah, that's the Madison Friends of Cure's annual benefit Thursday night from 5 to 8 p.m. at Promega on East Sherrill Park in Pittsburgh. Tickets are $100 per person. For more information, check out madisonfriendsofcure.org. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah.